Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to video tutorial 2, part 2, using the LSP Cake Smash QT Photoshop Action Sets. I'm going to move faster editing in this video and I'm going to get edit a variety of images from different photographers to show you different edits using these actions. If you would like to watch the slower step-by-step -step instructional editing video for using these and how to get started with them, please do watch video 2.1. All for how to install, get them in the coloured one-click order, and everything else, please do watch video 1. You can find these videos over on the website at www.lsp-actions.com. Click on videos and you'll see all the LSP Cake Smash photography video tutorials there in order. So like I said, I'm going to move a little bit faster with this one just to give you some recipe guides and examples. So let's get started with this image from Martha Jones. Uh, photography, isn't it beautiful? I love the colours and the tones here. So I'm going to get started and play the en Enchanted Tones bass just to give everything a little bit of a boost and a lift. And next up, I'm going to play the Underexposed Fix just to add a little bit more brightness in. You see we have set the highlights are rather bright here, so I'm going to play the Bring the Highlights Down all over action here. Now the blue actions at LSP are sliders. The layer masks are white, meaning they show over your whole image, but you can come up here on the opacity and change these if you wanted to. And next up I'm going to start working on the skin here. So what I'd recommend doing in between sections is using the snapshot and flatten action. Again, in video 2.1 you can see this in a lot more detail. Because up here in your history panel, you can have before and after. You can work through it that way. I prefer to do that rather than keeping all the layers open because that can get a little bit messy. So next up, we're going to go down here to the skin retouch brushes. You can play the Smashing Skin Multibase, which sets up a multitude of layers for you. Or you can go through individually. I'm going to play the um, extra bright brush for the face. So you always want to bring attention to the face in your image. And contrast face paint, I'd recommend always playing these two, whatever you're set up. I'm going to play Baby Bright Iris to bring some attention to the eyes here. You don't really want to brighten the eye whites too much unless they're very obviously dull. Um, you probably find that but generally by brightening the whole face you'll bring up a natural whiteness to the eyes. So let's just bring um, a little more attention to some of these catch lights in the eyes here. Can you give the skin a little bit of a boost, I think, a little bit of a tonal boost? So you could do that by playing the green-grey skin swipe. Again, these are all brushes, or white brushes selected for you, and you can change the opacity to 100% and the flow to 25 for best results. Now you'll find a lot of toddlers tend to have patchy, mottly skin, especially on the arms and legs and the face. So for that I'd recommend playing the Strong Skin Retouch. When you paint this one on, you're going to want to avoid the edges, but you'll find this gets rid of any patches, any blotches, any grazes, any areas of the skin that otherwise would take a little bit of fiddly retouching. This will literally brush it right away without you having um, to kind of change any settings. So you can see there, we're smoothing down the mottly areas of baby's legs, but still keeping a natural finish to the skin because you don't want baby to look over edited for a cake smash. You want the skin to look balanced and natural looking. Plastic baby skin is so 2010. <laughs> okay, so come down like that. You also have an extra detail painter with this one, so you can brush this over anywhere, areas that you wish to really boost those details up. I'm going to use the green grey skin just to add a little bit of tone back into the hair here because I can see a little bit of greenness there. I'm just bringing that opacity down a touch. Now this skin, this baby is beautifully pale um, but you may want to bring a little bit more tone back. You can use the almond, apricot, peach or mocha skin toner or you can use Skin Tone Genius, which you pick your own. So hit continue. Make sure up here when it says sample you have all layers, not current or anything like that. It has to be all layers. A colour picker box pops up. You're going to want to pick a nice tonal um, Goldilocks zone of the skin. Not too dark, not too light. So you can click around here until you have that skin tone. 
and simply brush this over to fill in any areas that perhaps are losing tone on the skin, maybe a little bit blown out, a little bit grey looking, anywhere you need to lift. And because all of the LSP actions are um, editable, you can click into this group here, and if you wanted to, you can use a black brush to paint away anything else. So I'm just going to paint away that lift from the skin there. So let's take a snapshot and flatten again. So we can see up here in the history, that's where we opened. That was the balancing, and now that's the skin editing. I may also play um, a little bit more toning here, perhaps the gentle red remover, just to get rid of some of these little red patches here on the skin. Just boost it up a little bit. And maybe the green grey again, just for this area of the leg there. White chose and black hide, so you can switch between a black and a white brush here by pressing the X on your keyboard. So next up, if you wanted to, you can create a duplicate fixing layer and fix any areas of your image or scene using the patch tool here. So I'm just going to get rid of that one, I think. And you can play the LSP Select and Fix action, which will hide it. It doesn't work well the first time because it uses Photoshop's content aware technology. You can simply go around again and play it until you're happy. I'm also going to use this to remove this little section um, of the balloon bottom there sticking out. Just play that in there. So we have there before and after. There's some creases in the background here. You can play this for the creases or you can use the uh, seamless background crease fix. But for a textured background like this, I'd recommend using Select and Fix. So any areas you want to get rid of, draw around them and play the action. It will magically fill those in for you. So we're just playing those there. Next up onto the colour changes. Of the advanced fix section as well, you can watch video 3 where I'll talk through everything included here in a lot more detail. And the colour changes you can watch in video 2, um, sorry, video 4 which talks you through how to use these. I'm going to use the pastel painter here because we have a very pastel scene but a bright cake, so I'm just going to use it just to calm the cake tone down. Or perhaps the vibrant colour painter too, just to match some of these tones up with the cake if you wanted to. So you can use this just to kind of match up those tones in your image a little bit more so everything balances out. And white to show and black to hide. And now we're onto the finishing overlays here. You can play these, you'll probably find um, you have your favourites in this set. So for this one I'm trying out Happy Birthday, which is a lovely um, vintage film. Or perhaps Party Time, which has a purple, slightly purple tone depth, which I think will work really well for this image here. And with these again, they affect your whole image so you can slide the opacity. So let's snapshot and flatten. And look at a quick before and after here. Up to the top of the history panel. Again, if you want to know how to use the history panel, how to get started, you can watch video 2, number 1, where I go through everything a lot slower and into the kids. So we have before and after there, using the LSP Cake Smash Cutie Photoshop Action Suite, and that is available at www.lsp-actions.com. For more video edits, you can visit the website, go on videos, and you'll see the whole video library there, with all the recipe guides and mini edits like this one. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.